The Owen gun, officially designated as the Owen machine carbine, was an Australian submachine gun conceived by its namesake Evelyn Owen during the late 1930s. It saw extensive use by the Australian Armed Forces during World War II and the Korean War. Evelyn Owen, a young Australian inventor, initially conceptualized the weapon around 1939. His initial prototype used 22 caliber rounds, but the design faced challenges in attracting military interest. After some persistence, his concept was brought to the attention of Lieutenant Colonel W.H. Green, the manager of Leesart Works, an engineering and steel company. With the assistance of Vincent Wardell, an engineer at the company, the design was refined and adapted to fire 9mm parabellum rounds. The Owen gun was renowned for its simplicity, reliability and adaptability to harsh conditions. Notably, it was distinctly recognizable for its top-mounted magazine, a design feature that was unconventional for submachine guns. This particular configuration provided a clear line of sight for the shooter and minimized the ingress of mud, sand and other debris into the action of the gun, thereby enhancing its reliability, especially in the muddy environments of the Pacific Theater. The weapon was chambered primarily in 9mm parabellum, but there were versions designed to accommodate the 45 ACP cartridge. It operated using an open bolt blowback mechanism. The barrel was approximately 247 millimeters in length, and the weapon's overall length was around 806 millimeters. The rate of fire was approximately 700 rounds per minute, and the magazine capacity was 33 rounds. Introduced into service with the Australian military in 1942, the Owen gun was well received by troops. Its reliability in various adverse conditions, from the jungles of the Pacific Islands to the arid landscapes of North Africa, earned it a favorable reputation among its users. Over the course of World War II, approximately 45,000 units were manufactured. During the Korean War, the Owen gun continued to see action, serving alongside the newer F-1 submachine gun, which was designed to replace it. However, the Owen gun's service life with the Australian military gradually diminished following the Korean War, and by the 1960s, it was phased out in favor of more modern designs. The Owen gun stands as a testament to the ingenuity and adaptability of wartime designs. While it may not have been as internationally recognized as other submachine guns of its era, its robustness, simplicity and effectiveness in diverse environments ensured that it left an indelible mark on the annals of military firearms history.